how to play Call of Duty Warzone on a Mac. Go to Google and search for Download Windows 10. Click on this top one. For Select Edition, select Windows 10, confirm. I'll choose English, confirm. And we want the 64-bit download. Now go to your search bar and search for Boot Camp Assistant. Make sure the ISO image is set to that Windows file that you just downloaded. This is maybe the most important step, is make sure you're giving Windows enough room. Call of Duty specifically is over 100 gigabytes. Click install. This should take a little while, but once it's done, allow it to make changes. And then your computer should immediately boot you into the Windows setup. Language, English, Currency, English, Keyboard, US, Next. You don't need a product key, so click I don't have a product key. Next, we'll click Windows 10 Home, 64. Accept the license terms. Now just let it finish installing. Once it's finished, it'll reboot. Now we just need to go through the basic Windows setup. I'm in the United States. Keyboard layout, US. Skip adding a second keyboard. Skip adding a second layout. Now connect to our Wi-Fi. Log in with your Microsoft account or create an account if you don't have one. Create a security pin. You can leave all these things checked. It doesn't really matter for what we're doing here. Cortana, I'm gonna hit not now. All right, finally, we're logged into Windows 10. And we just need to finish some things in bootcamp. Accept the terms. Your screen might do some kind of funny things here. Just let it go. All right, we're finished with bootcamp, so we're just gonna go ahead and do a final restart. Now that we're restarted, I'm gonna go to Google and I'm gonna search for Blizzard. Download for Windows. And we'll hit English. Yes, I'll allow this app to make changes. And continue. Now log in with your Blizzard account or create one if you don't have one. All right, now that we're logged in, let's go to Games. And you'll see Modern Warfare. And right here, you can play Warzone for free. Click Play for free and your download should start. And I actually still didn't have enough space for Call of Duty, so I ended up downloading it onto a solid state drive and I can just play the game off of there. Here's where things are gonna start getting a little tricky, so bear with me. You're gonna go to bootcampdrivers.com. Here you can download the graphic drivers you're gonna need for Windows 10. Once that finishes downloading, we're gonna open up that folder that you just downloaded and we're gonna go to DDU and Display driver uninstaller. In here, we're gonna to go to GPU as our device type, leave it as AMD, and we're gonna do clean and restart. All right, now that we've restarted, we're gonna open that folder up again, and we're gonna click setup. All right, and in here, we're just gonna hit install, and we're finished. All right, so now let's give her a try. So far, so good. Log in with my Activision account. And that's looking pretty good to me, so let's try practice. Yeah, it's working. So there you go, you can play Call of Duty on your Mac. I know things can get a little tricky with the shaders and the graphic drivers and stuff like that, so let me know in the comments if you have questions about anything, and I'll do my best to help you out. Hopefully you're able to get this to work though. Rate and subscribe for more videos.